G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. I'm sure you're aware that a couple of years ago the supermarket stopped giving away thin, cheap polyethylene shopping bags. And for the first two weeks they gave us reusable bags, polypropylene, I do believe, in order to discover how reusable they really were. I decided to keep a tally. So here we have, on a Saturday morning, I'm about to unpack the grockeries. They're still in the bags. After unpacking the bags, I will then fold them up and before putting them back in the car, I will add the week's tally mark. So what we have here is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 58. So this is the 59th time that bag has been to the supermarket. Over here we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 83. This is its 84th trip. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. We're looking at ninety this trip. And this particular bag, this is the one I'm making the movie in honor of. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. It's on its 99th trip last week. This week's tally mark makes it 100 trips to the supermarket to bring home food for the warbles. As well as being reused, it has occasionally been repaired. You'll see there's a bit of sticky tape there. I find if you put the sticky tape on both sides of any particularly grievous split, but looking here at the flip side of that same bag, I'm pleased to report this has indeed been 100 times to the supermarket with only one repair having been necessary. So there you go, and now you know. Assuming that you get about twice as much in one of these reusable bags, perhaps two and a half times as much, then that one bag has saved two or 250 of these things from going into the landfill. Who would have thunk it? Solitary native bee. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.